I love it, right? But that spoils it. I presume that comes off. <laughs> it's quite an upgrade, that, eh? <laughs> Is that 20 quid, yeah, for that upgrade? Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays and today an airsoft video well, we're going to actually go down to the gun shop and we're going to pick up my Warthog now if any of you remember in my Warthog from previous videos it was green, it was scratched and it was a bit of a slut of a gun a few other people had actually owned this gun so I decided, you know what I'm going to spend a bit of money on this and get this upgraded so we ended up putting a Titan X in there we got a new pistol grip we got a new rubber on the side and a new foregrip and a few other little goodies that we'll go into so I'm actually down there purely just to pick it up today but we will have a little look around at an MP7 and have a little sniff around in the workshop let's go so it'd be rude not to have a look in some of the cabinets down here it's just so tempting in here it's terrible for yourself and your wallet when you come in here some really nice pistols I've got in here and it's one of those things where I w you feel like you want to buy these just to own them. It's, you know, start building up your weapons collection. I really do like that biohazard one in the middle row there. But every single one of these is brilliant. These are all gas blowback pistols and we've even got up there the a couple of Star Wars guns. So if that floats your boat, why not get one? Right, so let's jump into the workshop here. It's always great to come back here. I know the lad's really well down there, so they don't mind me coming back here and having a little nosy around at what's been going on. What's going on back here? Let's have a look. Always lots of bits of kit and weapons all over the place that are getting fixed, modified, etc. So, so there she is. There's my Warthog, and as you can see, it's had a full respray. We've also got a PTS a coloured foregrip on there, or a pistol grip, should I say. I've also got a new stock at the back. A little bit more of a slimline one compared to the big fat stubby one that originally came with it. And I'm also going to be putting on a couple of couple of tanned side grips and also a new foregrip just to make sure it's all in line and just in the back there. Just in the back there asleep, purring away, is my M249 saw, but I'm sure I'll be doing a video of that at some point once these guys get around to actually ripping her guts out and getting her souped up to be an airsoft supermodel. So the old MOSFET card has been ripped out of the Warthog and I've now got a Titan in there and as you can see a Titan gate. This is actually the card that comes in the box that enables you to be able to reprogram it to any sort of fire rate or fire mode that you want. And I'll probably do a video in depth on that looking at the box and the goodies and everything else that goes in there but really quite easy. You can even connect this thing up to your PC if you want to start reprogramming it for specific fire modes etc etc. So as you can see, here's Dave, one of the technical guys down there, one of the gun techs down at patrol base with his grizzly beard. What a true operator. What a boss! I said I'd big him up. So here he is, he's putting the new PTS grip on there, and as you can see, he's actually adjusting the motor inside, and we'll see in a minute as we get on the range what he's actually doing. He's actually raising that up internally, up and down. Also going to be putting on a foregrip on there, a PTS foregrip. So let's get in and have a look and see what this thing sounds like. <laughs> It's a squeak and a half. What does twisting that on bottom do? That's a uh, motor height adjustment. Right. So you heard how it really screech it before, because mm -hmm. it's in too far. That's what all the girls say, Dave. It is. Fucking LMG. Driller killer. So. More space in the stock tube now as well because you don't have the G and G ETU in there. Mm. It's 
some more tan bits for the front now. Change them. So while we're here looking through some of these cabinets, I said to him, what have you got in that's nice and juicy? What can I get me grubby little mitts on? What can I have a look at? So walking along the gun rack and what do we see? We see an MP9. Lovely. So let's get that onto the range. Have a little sneaky peek. I haven't actually bought this thing, but I certainly am quite tempted. It sounded amazing and this video really doesn't do it justice for how crunchy and loud this thing sounds. Certainly not going to uh, certainly going to give your position away out on the field, but for close quarters or a secondary weapon, very, very nice indeed. Right, Dave, what have we got here? This is an M I thought this was an MP7, it's not, it's an MP9. Eh? Gas MP9. GBB MP9 looks beautiful. They How are. much would it be for this with the sight, for grip, and the dildo on the end? How Base much? gun, 199.99. Yeah. Suppressor, BNT suppressor is 54.99. For yeah. grip, 7.99. And the T1 clone is 57.99. Nice so, looking thing. Nice Let's look. hear this bad boy. Let's put it in full out there. That sounds really nice. No way you're going to be stealth with that though. No, definitely it's not. It's close quarters that, isn't it? Uh, nice to use, nice bit of kit. Beautiful. Get one at your local retail store now. Beautiful. So there we are, not really a, the, the biggest in-depth video, but that was the old Warthog on screen as you can see there, and I'll probably do a video, a review video on this weapon as I have done for my Octo Arms. I'll probably do one on the Warthog as well at some point, but having paraplays, this has been me down at patrol base, getting my gun resprayed and Gucci it up like a motherfucker. Thanks for watching. I shall see you in another airsoft video coming real soon. Subscribe. Thanks up. Big up. Airsoft. Fucking love it.